Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because I've been trying to do this video for the last like week or so but then I just, life right? I'm excited today to finally be able to share with you guys kind of my fall wardrobe or favorites or fall haul. I don't know. If you guys follow me on my social media sites you know that I just sold like a ton of my clothes like I'm talking like huge boxes full of my clothes I've been weeding through my clothes because I used to have the tendency I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible but I have the tendency to kind of buy stuff because it's on sale or because um, I don't know just I, I find reasons to buy stuff and it's a really unhealthy habit trust me I know uh, but I've been working really hard at just kind of being more thoughtful about what I purchase and what I bring into my home in general, not just relating to clothes. So I got rid of a ton of kind of just like impulse buys and like things that I don't ever wear that have just been like sitting unloved in my closet for a long time. And I wanted to start introducing slowly kind of things that I loved, you know, even if they were more on the pricey side, you know, just kind of only keeping and purchasing things that I absolutely love. That's what I've been doing for the last year is just kind of, again, getting rid of a bunch of stuff and then just slowly only getting things again that I know that I will wear the crap out of. Anyways, let's just jump into it. I thought I would share with you guys what I've been loving, what I've been wearing, and kind of just some purchases that I've been making because you guys are all like, let's see a video, let's see a video, and I'm all like, okay, but I take forever to do anything you guys ask me to do. But the first thing I wanted to share is this cardigan. I absolutely love it. A lot of you guys have been asking me where I got it from. If you're ever wondering where I purchased something, I usually try to tag outfit tags and links and stuff like that on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, I will leave all the links to my Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and all of those things around the screen. But this is from Abercrombie. I love this cardigan so much. I wanted a mustard yellow cardigan for a while. The only one I could find for the longest time was at American Eagle, but it had a bunch of like big holes, like it was a big wide knit one. I wanted something more chunky because I do wear obviously my wedding rings and my engagement ring kind of catches on big knit things. Also, I'm really clumsy, so like car keys or like if I walked or grazed past something, like. I would get that thing caught and like it would be torn apart for, and it's like a 60 or $70 sweater I think when I looked at it. Um, so I was like that's not going to work for me. But then I came across this one which is more of a tight chunky knit at Abercrombie and it's just amazing. I got it during one of their 50% off sales so it was pretty affordable. I like to sign up for either like the clubs of stores that I've purchase things regularly from like Abercrombie has a like an A&F club which I'll leave a link underneath here if you want to sign up for it. If you shop there regularly like I do it's really beneficial because A you get $10 off I think off your first purchase of $50 or more just for signing up but then like for every $10 you spend you get credit towards money towards next purchases. So for me since most of my wardrobe is from there I save the most just shopping from there being a part of this you know club uh, and again because I have that I get like monthly emails for when big sales are happening. They sent me a 30% off coupon which is stackable with other sales for my birthday which is when I got a lot of this stuff. But anyways, so this is a really nice sweater. I love the fit of it. This is like a nice frumpy. It's got um, bigger like kind of bell sleeves but not too big and then it's tighter at the end. I did size up in this. Usually I'm an extra small when it comes, like I'm between extra small and small when it comes to their top. But for this because I knew I was going to throw it in the dryer because I'm not about that like hanging my clothes to dry life unless it's my athleisure wear. I, w I knew this was going to shrink a little bit. So this is actually size small and it did shrink down and it's the perfect fit, perfect size and it's really durable which I like. I kind of want it in light gray. We'll see, but it's extremely warm as well. Like I've been running around town and it's like 36 degrees outside in just this and right now I'm like sweaty. The next thing I got, I got actually a couple days ago during my annual birthday shopping trip with one of my best friends, Lauren. You guys know we go every year for our birthdays because both our birthdays are about like a week and a half, two weeks apart in October. And so we like to go on just like an annual shopping trip. This one was kind of boring because we're in our 30s now and we're just kind of like whatever we like I don't know we don't really spend money the way we used to so it kind of ended in like a shopping trip to Trader Joe's and I really didn't buy anything except for this cardigan especially because I'd been purchasing things up until this point like I just didn't feel like spending money uh, but I got this cardigan right here from Nordstrom Rack it is so cute I like it 
other people might not like it because it's so freaking big. It's actually a size bigger than I normally would wear. Again, this is a size small. Normally I'm an extra small. But this is by the brand RDI and originally it was $105. I got it for $29.97. So I really like this and it's probably the only duster you'll see me in because as I said in my Stitch Fix box videos last year, I just am not all about the really long cardigan life anymore, but this one, there's something about it that made me just like, I needed it. The next thing I got, this I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or not because I don't know if it's cute or if I just want it to be cute and I'm just like lying to myself, I don't know, but it is this like plaid blanket poncho. It's from Abercrombie as well. I used my rewards points on it, so it's normally 38, but it was 50% off, plus I had $20 in rewards, so I got it for free. I don't know if I'll keep it, I might take it back. You guys will have to tell me what you think about it. I kind of just wanted it as like a layer, like a blanket layer for when I'm like outside, um, and maybe I don't want to put something on, but I want kind of something over my shoulder. This is like made to sit really nicely on the shoulders, um, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I look like a bat lady in it, so I don't know. We'll see though. We'll see. I got it technically for free, but I also had to use my rewards, which I had racked up from spending other money. So I don't know. We'll see about that. This is from Banana Republic. I have not worn it yet because I'm waiting for the right moment to wear it, but I got it actually a month ago, and I know what you're thinking. You're like, why did you buy something you haven't worn yet? Well, the weather here has been kind of wonky. <laughs> you guys know if you live in Ohio or the Midwest, it's been hot, it's been cold, it's been, you know, so I haven't had a chance to wear this yet, but I'm excited about it. This is a really big, chunky cable knit sweater. This is an extra, extra small, and it's a men's sweater. Every single time I try to find a women's sweater, I feel like they're either really thinly made, which drives me insane because we want to stay warm too. If anything, women want to be warmer than men and need heavier materials, but they're either like too boxy, like short on me, or they're too long on me, or they're too thin, or the sleeves are like have ribbons on them, or lace, or like huge like bat wings. Like, I don't know. Sweaters for some weird reason when it comes to women's fashion, just I haven't been able to find good ones. This one I came across when I was looking in the men's section for John, and I was like, you know, I wonder if that would like look okay on me. Fits me perfectly. It's great weight. It's going to be so comfortable and I'm really excited. So if you're looking for something and you can't find it, check the men's section because that's what I've been doing and there's a few other men's things here as well. All right, like I said, we're hopping from store to store and back to other stores and this is actually dirty because I've worn it numerous times and you guys have been asking me where I got it from. But the next thing I got is this friend's t-shirt. When I put this up, it's going to like darken in the background. Just a plain t-shirt with friends written on it. This is in a size small and I got this from Urban Outfitters. Whenever you see me in like a logo tee that's really cute or like I don't know, like trendy looking, they're always usually from Urban Outfitters or PacSun. That's like my go-to place to find like things like that. But as you guys know, I have a friend's sweatshirt that I wore the crap out of last year and still wear this year. And that was from Urban Outfitters as well. I spent a little bit too much on this t-shirt. You guys know me though. I am obsessed with friends. You can ask me any question and I can answer it. Like if I could just use the knowledge that I had in my head about friends on something useful that made money, I would be a millionaire. Like, that's how sad it is. That's what happens when you get pregnant as a teenager and are lonely and have nothing better to do than sit at home and stuff your face with chocolate and watch Friends all the time. So yeah, I love Friends. It got me through a lot of dark times. I love this t-shirt a lot. I like it just because it's relative to me and people my age all always say something. It's a conversation starter. It's also cute. It goes well under a lot of different things. I love t-shirts that are like, complimenting to my body because I just like layering stuff. So to have something that's just not a white plain t-shirt that has a little something on it to layer underneath all these cardigans and jackets that I got, that's kind of just been my like fall style. I love this shirt so much. Again, I spent way too much money on it, um, but you know, what are you gonna do? The next t-shirt I got from Urban Outfitters, a lot of you guys are asking about, this is dirty too because I just wore it. I got the Schoolhouse Rocks. I'm just a bill t-shirt. This one actually fits me a little bit bigger than the other one even though they're both size small. Be careful when it comes to ordering t-shirts because if it's like a unisex that's different than a women's fit. I hate women's fit t-shirts 
of all kinds. They just do not look complimenting on me for some reason. I don't like things that hug around my tummy. And so I like guys are unisex and I usually wear an extra small in that. But the smallest they had in this shirt was a small, so that's why I got a small. But I love this shirt. I did specifically get it because voting was happening and I wanted to wear it on voting day. I felt like I did my public service by walking around and wearing it because I got tons of people who were like, thanks for reminding me to vote. Job well done shirt. The next thing I have are red skinny jeans, which I am not one to wear colorful pants. We have talked about this numerous times. These are from Abercrombie. I Most of my jeans are either from Abercrombie or American Eagle or Cut From Cloth. Those are just the three brands that fit me really well. I do also like All For Mankind jeans, but they're I only wear their flares or their boot cut. Those are the only ones that, that I usually get from that brand. But when it comes to skinny jeans and stuff like that, I love Abercrombie and American Eagle just because their jeans fit me the best because I am 5'3". Um, I'm a size 0 slash 25, so I just yeah, they just have the right fit for me for some reason. So these are um, actually the ankle ones. They're high rise ankle in Simone and they are so comfortable. And again, I don't usually do color, but these, I just, I really was drawn to them. And since I darkened my hair, they look really good. I cannot wait to wear the crap out of them because they are super comfortable. Those I also got on sale, they're like 20 bucks, which is amazing. Now, the next pair of jeans I got, actually I got two pairs of jeans that are very similar. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I love them so much that I wanted both of them because they were really, really cheap when I got them. Not sure how much they are now. I will leave links to everything underneath this video though, just so that you can find everything super easy. Um, but these are from Abercrombie as well. These are high-waisted floral, stitched jeans so they look very similar but they're different so this floral print is all up on the hip with a cut off ankle bottom and then these have one on the thigh and then one on the ankle cut off ankle bottom as well same washes same kind of fit both high-waisted they make my butt look really nice and my thighs look really nice which makes me feel very nice but these are super comfortable I don't know how much I'll wear them during the winter and as it's gotten more cold just because they are an ankle cut and even with ankle cuts I usually kind of roll them a little bit but these are gonna look amazing during the spring and all through summer like I love them so very much the next thing I got sorry a lot of this stuff I've been wearing because I well because they're clothes that I love and that's what you do is you wear those clothes I got a sweater from Abercrombie and this I kind of got to go with those jeans but also just because I really liked it this is another like cable knit kind of like half turtlenecky type sweater now this is a perfect example of why I was so excited to get the Banana Republic men's one because this looks kind of similar, has a great design and everything, but I had to size up in this and it's still kind of short on me and kind of makes me look a little bit boxy. The men's cut is nice because it's like fitted all the way down without hugging in the wrong places. Whereas women's, again, it's either too tight, too short or too long on me. And is it coming undone? I don't know. That's always the risk you have with like knits, I feel like, is like sometimes they start coming undone. I don't know. That's why I only own a couple knits because I just, I don't trust them. I did order a couple pair of jeans. American Eagle has the most amazing jeggings. I love their jeggings. I have every single wash. I love, love, love them. They fit so well and they are so comfortable. I'm wearing some right now. Ta-da! Right there. I love them. They are fitted all the way down. That's what I love about jeggings. I have huge thighs. I have skinny calves and skinny ankles. So when it comes to finding true skinny jeans, it's really hard because most of them like are really tight up top and then loose on the bottom where I kind of want that sculpted all the way down look. So the jeggings at American Eagle are perfect for me because they're fitted all the way down to the ankle. So I can either roll them or leave them unrolled and with booties or high heels or whatnot, it doesn't look ridiculous. Or if I wear like my Doc Martens and have them over my jeans, it doesn't look ridiculous. So I love American Eagle jeggings. And again, they're super comfortable because they've got a great stretch to them. They have a little bit of a destroyedness to them or destroyed dressed to them. They are in a little bit of a lighter wash. These are the super stretch, super soft uh, jegging. And then I got a darker pair as well, which I'm gonna go grab those real quick. I got these darker ones, which I just wore the other day. 
These are like the only jeans too, like the jeggings from American Eagle are like the only jeans I can wear like even when I get home. Like normally I will change out of whatever I'm wearing and put sweatpants on immediately. Jeggings I can actually live in all day or travel in, so I like that aspect. But this is just a darker wash and again, just I love these. These are the 360 next level stretch. So the reason why I bought two pairs at once was because I am out of breath. <laughs> was because uh, American Eagle had a buy one get one half off sale on top of a 30% off. So it made them really affordable. All right, next I have a bunch of t-shirts because again, I love, love t-shirts. They're just an easy way to like put together a quick outfit and uh, yeah. Also, I'm all about layering because that way you can transition all your clothes from season to season. I've been looking for just like a nice plain, it's, black and white t-shirt. Again, women's t-shirts, I just, they hug in all the wrong places on me. They look great on other people, but for some reason on me, I'm just like, I cringe. They just look, they just make me, they're not just, they're not very complimenting to my body. So I, again, went to the men's section. These are from Abercrombie. These are from the men's section. This is just a normal pocket tee. This is like a black. I don't know. It's a little bit faded though, but I don't really mind. I kind of like that look. This isn't an extra small. It was on clearance for $6. I love the texture. It's very thick. Again, with like women's stuff, it's so thin. I don't understand it. And then your bra shows through or your skin color shows through. And so I really like the, 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 like the men's t-shirts because they have a great fit on me but they also are thicker, so they don't look ridiculous, and they just have a nice little pocket tee. So I got a black and a white one of those, and then I also got this France 1990 one size fits all t-shirt. A lot of you guys are asking me where this was from. This was just like a random purchase from PacSun. I just was like in that store, and I was like, oh, this is really cute, and I just bought it. The next thing I got was from Urban Outfitters. This is the Beatles t-shirt. As you can tell, I did when I ordered from Urban Outfitters, they had a sale, it was like, T-shirts were all a certain amount off and that's why I ordered quite a few at a time because their t-shirts are just always so expensive. So again, I just like this color. With my hair really dark, I've been liking like burnt oranges and burnt yellows and rustic reds. So I just really liked this t-shirt because I love the Beatles. And then I also got this from Urban Outfitters as well. This I'm not a fan of on its own, but underneath things, it's really cute. And then I also got a jean jacket. You guys know me, I love my jean jackets. The jean jackets I usually wear are really fitted, however. So I got this like boyfriend larger one and I love it. This is from Abercrombie. It comes with a little like gemstone pin. Not a huge fan of that, but I just left it so I don't lose it. Um, but it's just a nice distressed oversized jean jacket which I just I love it's just comfortable and I don't care if I look stupid in it I just sometimes I just want to like throw on a jean jacket and this works really well because it fits over everything because it isn't so tight in the arms like my other ones and then I ordered this from Jimmy Jazz they actually have pretty decent like sales on like clothes you wouldn't expect but this is a North Face like I forget what John called it what is this jacket John What's the green jacket with the zipper and pen holder on the sleeve called? Bomber jacket. Bomber jacket. So this is by North Face. It's olive green. You guys know I love me some olive green. I love this jacket so, so very much. Like, I, I don't know. It's so weird. I wouldn't imagine liking something like this, but I saw it because it was on sale on their website. And I was like, you know what? If I don't like it, I'll send it back. It's my favorite, like, jacket. It's... I wear it all the time over all of those t-shirts like it's my favorite even though there's like nothing to it like it's pretty thin uh, it's super warm because it is very wind repellent North Face is really good at making like wind walls and all of that um, it's 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 so cute I love it it's also thin enough to wear underneath like winter jackets so if you want to just wear it like layered I don't know, I really like that thing though. And I got that on crazy sale, so I was really excited. And then the last like cardigan, like casual wear thing I got, again, men's section. This is from Abercrombie. And this is just a very, very nice grandpa old man, old man cardigan. When I posted this on Instagram, a lot of you guys were like, where did you get that, where did you get that? And I was like, men's section, Abercrombie. 
This, I believe, is 40 or 50% off right now, too. I got it when it was 50% off. They also have a navy blue one as well. It shrank a little bit, but it's perfect size still. Again, it hits me perfectly on the waist. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's very thick and warm, and it just it fits me so well, and it fits my shoulders. Maybe I have man shoulders. Maybe that's the issue, but this fits me, like, super well on the shoulders. It doesn't, like, slide off weird. It doesn't hang on the sides of my boobs. Like, it just... It's perfect. So again, look in the men's section. Check out the men's section. And then last but not least for clothes, I did order stuff from Lululemon and it just arrived today and I'm super excited. I really have tried, again, to only buy stuff that I love and I know that I will wear the crap out of because for me, that makes it worth the money spent. Instead of buying like 12 t-shirts or like five different pairs of leggings from like TJ Maxx or Target that are super cheap that I hardly ever wear because I really don't love them. I instead buy one thing that costs just as much as all of those other little things that I wear all the time. And so Lululemon is one of those things for me. I did purchase three things from Lululemon and they're all things I actually already owned but just in different colors so I know that I'm gonna absolutely love these things. So I did get this gray scuba jacket. You guys know I love the scuba jackets. I live in them. I have two others upstairs. I have like a dark marled space gray which they still have in store and then I have a really light light one that's almost white uh, which that they still have in store as well and this is more like a dark athletic gray. I know you guys are like, why do you have so much gray? But when it comes to like outerwear or things that I layer or wanna wear all the time dressed up and down or to the gym or to the school or to, you know, around the house or to look cute, I like neutral colors because then I know it's gonna like match with basically anything. So I really want the dark olive green scuba jacket, but these things are stupid expensive. So for me, it's like if I, I want something that I'm gonna wear all the time. So that is why I settled on the regular gray. Uh, but like I said, last year I lived in these all fall and winter and I've already started wearing them again as it's gotten colder. The neckline is so high that it's like perfect for when you're running errands outside. The hood is huge. so. When when I'm just trying to like cozy up or do whatever it's nice to pull over my head they fit me really well and are very like complimenting to the body even though they are a sweatshirt like I I don't know I know there's a lot of stuff at Lululemon that is a waste of money and way overpriced but their scuba jackets something that I will pay full price for because I I love them and I wear them all the time. They're just so warm. I will throw this on with my goose down vest and I can wear that in the frigid winters. And then I did get two pairs of pants because it is time for me to get my ass back into the gym. I'm actually going tonight. Uh, but I've been, you guys know, running and playing soccer and all that, but the gym is really where I start getting my muscle definition back and where I really start working on like my seasonal depression. Like it really helps. But um, I did get some new pants to kind of motivate myself to get off my ass. So I did get the Speed Up Crops. I got one in a dark olive and then I got one in a gray. These are awesome because they do have the nice looking butt seam thingy. Then they have like pockets on the side, which people always ask me where I got these pants because of these pockets on the side. They're just really, really comfortable. They suck everything in. They're just, they're just really, really, really nice. So I did get the dark olive because I wanted them and then I got the gray. All right, so last but not least, I know this video is already crazy long, but you guys had been wondering where everything was from. So now I can reference you all back to this video. I do have an accessory and three pairs of shoes that I got the accessory that I got which I've been posting about on my Instagram, is my bandolier, I think that's how you pronounce it, iPhone case strap and like wristlet attachment. So I love the show Blackish and I love Tracy Ellis so much. She is like my muse for everything in life. I just think she's amazing and she's beautiful. I love her fashion, like everything about her. So I was watching her show, or not her show, but that show Blackish. And I noticed she kept like, she had this, she had the strap and the phone case. And I was like, where is that from? So I Googled it like a crazy stalker and I found their website, Bandolier. Like I said, I'll leave all links underneath here. And I saw that they also sold attachment wristlets. And I was like, you know what? I need a new phone case. Cause mine, I hadn't like gotten a real like good phone case for my new phone. So I splurged because they are kind of expensive and I got it because you guys know me, I actually, use my phone cases forever and so 
it seemed like a really good purchase. I've been a lot more like minimalistic in my life when it comes to what I use every day. So this is nice because it's got this nice little like pocket right here. I'm not going to show you guys my cards, but it's got this pocket that pops away here and then it has a place for your ID and a credit card. I don't think you could probably fit anything more in here to be completely honest. It's a tight fit with two cards. You could maybe do three, but I don't want to stretch it that far, but I just keep my debit card and my driver's license in here and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I did get the attachment wristlet though, so that way I can, if I need to or I'm gone longer, I can hold more cards. So I have like my insurance cards, John's, you know, our joint account debit card, and then I have some cash in here. Um, I do also keep like my car key in here because that's all I really carry around because everything now is like enter a code, you know, in regards to like locks and bolts and all of that and around our house. So this is my favorite thing that I've <laughs> gotten in a while that has excited me. But when you take off the wristlet, say say you don't want to take your wristlet, like today I didn't need my wristlet, I just kind of put my key in my pocket and then I just need my driver's license and my um, debit card. It's just there, that's what you carry around. So you can either, this is what I do, you can either wrap your strap around here and carry it like that. They do also have like a wristlet version or you can wear crossbody around and then that's like all you need in life, right? Is your phone, your money, and your ID. Make sure if you get one of these though to get a screen protector because obviously this part of your screen is going to be either like rubbing up against your pocket or somewhere else. So it's just good to have that. But I really love this phone case. It's been amazing. It took some getting used to because it's a little bit bulkier than what I'm used to, but I love it. And then when I don't want the strap on at all, I just take the strap off and then I push the little hinges and then it's just a nice little phone case. I do kind of want, they just came out with a pouch that is like wider. I kind of want that, but it came out of course after I purchased these things. So maybe Christmas is coming, maybe I'll get it for that. But I love, 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 love this phone case and strap. It just, it's made my life so much easier and it's perfect. Moving on to shoes and then we will be done, I promise. So the first pair of shoes I got are these Doc Martens right here. I love these. I got these from Poshmark. They were brand new. I think they were display shoes because they do have the Journey sticker on the bottom stapled on the left shoe. And I actually, fun fact, used to be a co-manager of a Journey's for like a year and a half. So I know exactly like I know why that's there. It's because it's a display shoe. I love these so much. And again, I got them from Poshmark. So they were super affordable. I think I maybe spent like $50 on these. 60 but 20 out of my pocket because I had credit from other stuff that I'd already sold on Poshmark left over and I really really like them they're usually like 149 I think or 100 and something so it was a great deal for me and then last but not least I did get two of the exact same pairs of booties and those are these booties right here in one of the pictures I posted on Instagram, I shared a picture of me in the Lucky Brand Basil Booties, which I will post here. If, well, I think I've already shared it here, but I will post again. So those booties, a lot of you guys are like, where did you get those? Where did you get those? They were like $120, which is as much as my scuba jacket. So that's why I always get, I always find it funny when people are like, you would spend how much on a sweatshirt? But then shoes cost the same exact amount. And I wear the sweatshirt more than I do some of these shoes that I buy. Like, doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, they were like $120. I think I got them for like a hundred um, on my birthday. I bought them. Uh, well, I brought them home and I wore them around the house a little bit and they were actually kind of uncomfortable and they didn't fit me right. Lucky Brand sizes are so weird. They keep changing them by a half size. So like none of them fit me right. And so because I hadn't worn them outside, I took them back because I kind of had buyer's remorse. I was like, you know, they don't feel 100% comfortable. I don't love them. I'm not gonna wear them if I don't love them. So I took them back. Well, a couple weeks ago, I went into Shoe Depot just like on a whim. And wouldn't you know it, I found the exact dupes of those stupid shoes and these are $25 each. Yeah. So I got two pairs. I got the black and I got the brown and they were $50 for both and I'm super excited. I feel like they're just as well made, but one is made out of fake leather, plastic leather, which are these, and then the other ones, the Lucky Brand ones, were made out of actual leather. 
I actually, when it comes down to it, prefer fake leather just because it doesn't stretch like regular leather does on me. They look exactly the same. They have zippers on the outside. They have zippers on the inside. These actually fit better because they had a smaller ankle right here, so the lip didn't come out as much. And I actually like this brown better than the toffee color because all of the Lucky Brand booties were all different because they are actual leather. The tans and the stains on them are all different. So the displays you like, well, if they bring out a box for you, it might look completely different. So the nice thing about fake leather is that it's more consistent with the coloring. You take these through water, you know, they may fall apart eventually, but they won't get stained like regular leather will. So again, I spent 25 bucks on each pair, $24.99. So it was worth it for me. I love these though. They're super comfortable and I was so happy to get two for a fraction of the price of those one and ones that actually like fit me well and that I will wear. I was very excited about that purchase. That is it. I know that was a lot. I've been, again, collecting all of this since pr like a couple weeks before my birthday. And I, yeah, that will be probably the only haul you see from me for a long time. There are all of my fall clothes, all of the things I've been loving and things I got for my birthday and potential Christmas ideas for you guys. So I will leave links again underneath this video if you want to go shop and purchase these things yourself. Um, thank you guys for watching as always. If you like clothing videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for hanging in there if you're still watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.